everybody. Say hello to my new color changing Starbucks little angel babies. These motherfuckers. Whew. If you didn't get any, they gone now. Um, I'm a liar. Maple and Ridge Target still had a couple. Um, I tried to go back and get some for my friend who runs a daycare. So she obviously can't leave because she runs a daycare. Um, and they would not sell me more because I already bought two packs, which I get, which is why I only bought two packs to begin with. I didn't know there was a limit. I just wasn't trying to be greedy because last time these came out, I didn't get any because they sell out so fast. So anyway, I tried to go back and help a friend out and get some and they would not let me buy anymore. But the real story here is is that then I tried to ask two different people in the parking lot if they would go in and buy some for me, <laughs> which I know is crazy, but also like, just be nice and like help a sister out. Like, I don't think I'm that crazy. I was probably crazy, but it is what it is. They were both said that they were too busy or that they were in a rush. And the first girl, fine. And so then I was like scared to ask somebody else. I was like, shoot. But then this like whole family came out and I was like, oh, a family, like they'll be nice. Like maybe they'll help me out. So I ask and the guy says, oh, I'm sorry. I have to go to work. You have two toddlers and your wife here at Target. You got to go to work. I, I'm not buying it. <laughs> and I get coronavirus. People are being more cautious. I understand, but also, like, I'm just trying to help a friend. Like, I'm trying to be a good friend. Like, can you be a good person and help me out? It was just frustrating. So, I do have one box left. A friend called me, so I might have to, like, piece together these videos. Um, and I don't know where I'm going to cut it. So, I'm just going to backtrack a little bit. And if you hear things twice, mind your fucking business. Um, so, I'm going to raffle this pack of color changing cups off. Um, I haven't solidified the details yet. I'm going to reach out to my friend who does raffles all the time um, and just kind of get some insight on how I should do things. Um, but I'm thinking a dollar or two dollar tickets um, and then probably 25 to 30 tickets. I'm really not for sure yet. Like I said, I'll solidify all that after I talk to her and I will post it and let you guys know. So if you wanted some and you couldn't get your hands on some, this will be a chance for you to get some super cheap. Like I said, just a dollar or two um, would put your name in the pot and then I'm just going to pull random like a ticket for who gets it. So it's the last day of school and we are going to, me, we, this is how I'm feeling today. Um, brrr, okay, last day of school. Um, me and some of my coworkers are going up to the school to take this panoramic picture, potentially, as long as we don't get rained out, um, for our principal who is moving schools. Um, it's just kind of like a farewell photo. Um, and then some of my coworkers and I are going to go have lunch. So I'm super excited for that. I'm super excited that this stupid school year is over. Um, I think that even if we have to go, oh, my shirt is really uncomfortable right now, guys, sorry. Um, I think that even if we have to do distance learning next year, we have at least experienced it, and hopefully the district won't say that it's not mandatory, and hopefully they will make it mandatory, and hopefully science will be of some importance, um, because that has been a real struggle for me. Like, if this is actually how it continues. Like, I'm going to have to go work at Dylan's or something because, like, I can't function. Um, so, yeah. Last day of school. It is officially summer. Like, done. Done, 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 done. Um, and so, yeah. I'm excited for that. I'm excited to go have some lunch with my coworkers because we have only seen each other through a computer screen for months. And like, those are like my friends. I mean, obviously I have lots of friends, but those are the people that I communicate with daily, who I laugh and cry and have fun with daily. So I've definitely missed having them in my life. Um, so it'll be nice to kind of reconnect. So this weekend is Angel's birthday. Um, again, depending on the rain, we might be headed out to the lake. Um, 
that was kind of what we decided would be safest. Um, who knows how many people are going to be there, but it's at least outside an open area. We can social distance and kind of be spread apart and be outside in the open air. So that was kind of what we decided um, as things are kind of starting to open back up. Our backup plan is to go bowling. Um, I probably won't take Elena if that's what we end up doing. So just kind of playing everything by ear, taking everything one day at a time. Um, I'm still sending Elena to daycare twice a week, which is so good for my mental health. All of you people who have been stuck at home with your kids for months, I highly suggest it. Um, obviously, I love my child. We love our children more than anything in the whole world. But as somebody who was a working mom and then getting like thrown into being full time at home 24-7, um, it's a huge adjustment and I think it's just important to acknowledge that sometimes you need a mental break and I don't need a mental break from her necessarily. It's the getting things done. Like I have goals that I'm trying to work on that I can't do with Helena crawling on me. You know what I mean? Like wanting to be held. Um, and like I said in previous vi videos, even just like simple housework, can be challenging um, with her because she gets just kind of needy. So <clears throat> it's just a time where I can deep clean the house and get it done in an hour beside instead of it taking me all day. You know what I mean? Um, like last Tuesday or this Tuesday, this past Tuesday, I mowed the front yard. Like I could not have done that with Elena here. Like I could have put her in her bouncer outside and just made her sit there while I mow the grass. Um, but she has allergies to grass. The last time we had her outside while Angel was mowing, her entire eye like swelled up. Like it's just little things like that. Like I get to help Angel by mowing the lawn and not having to worry about Elena and if she's crying or if she needs something or if she's going to have a swollen eye because I was mowing the grass with her outside. Like it's just things like that. So I highly recommend it if it's something that you can do. If you've been considering it, like, do not feel guilty. We have enough mom guilt as it is. Like, take that time for yourself 100%. I don't know. I could go on and on and on. I know several other people who work from home, like, besides coronavirus. <clears throat> and they have, <clears throat> excuse me, they have, like, either a babysitter come or they send their kids away. And I'm not talking, like, all day, every day. Like, Elena goes for the mornings on Tuesdays and Thursdays, like just enough time to give me some me time so I can get stuff done. And then she comes back. Like it's not super expensive. Like it's just enough for me to still feel like me. And it's good for Elena. Like she gets to go be around her cousin. Like Elena loves little kids. Like she loves getting to go places. Like she genuinely enjoys it. Like she really does. So yeah. Angel's birthday is this weekend. I'm super excited for that. Super excited just to see family that we have not seen in months. Um, Angel and I are definitely, I know some of you are still on like full lockdown, like full, not going anywhere, but Angel and I are more just following what the governor and the CDC says and just kind of playing it as safe as we can, but also like we're also ready to get back to our lives a little bit. Um, so yeah, one day at a time. If you got some Starbucks cups, good for you. Um, hopefully my friend Paige gets some. If not, or not if not, if she does, you guys may have a chance to get some too. All right, y'all. Talk to you later. Bye.